somebody sent me on this um this podcast by um father vincent toomey and i i just listened to it and i thought it was it was incredible be- incredibly beautiful i mean i've seen so many liturgies in the church so many liturgies from standing beside saint john paul ii at the easter vigil for four hours on at the high altar in saint peter's and seeing you know the the liturgy as as he celebrated it to incredibly beautiful traditional latin masses to eastern orthodox uh, divine liturgies greek catholic liturgies um Ar- armenian liturgies and uh, so i've seen it all seen it you know incredibly varied types of liturgy in in all over the world and uh, i suppose what really moved my heart was um those moments of silence when in silence you're you're confronted you're nearly placed in front of god i think in the catholic church you know i personally think if if we were to ever lose the traditional latin mass that that connection with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of liturgy we would be incredibly impoverished we would lose something incredibly valuable and precious for me as a person what draws me close to christ is silent prayer it's in silence is when you encounter christ face to face it's in silence when you encounter yourself we encounter ourselves we encounter christ and um it's it's critical to be able to pray you need you need to have ele- uh, moments of silence of contemplation of unity of prayer and uh, i think you know the church now is in a, in a moment of soul searching i'm not here to divide the church but it's in a moment of soul searching where you know we see this debate about what is liturgy who is christ what should we be doing at mass how should we be using the sacred liturgy that time and um you know it's an interesting moment uh in the church it's an interesting moment you know where are we leading souls to what are we going to do so i just thought i'd share this this interview i thought it was fantastic um i i suppose you know what were the moments that that most impacted me in the liturgy um because i've seen so many of them i suppose for me i don't know why it's the the, the, the that silent encounter with christ crucified in a traditional latin mass you know to actually look at christ crucified to 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 go into the to the mystery to the to understand the rubrics um the actions that mystery of encountering christ in in a traditional latin mass will change your soul forever you will never be the same you will never be the same after you have encountered christ the crucified christ that's been sacrificed on that altar in traditional at mass i mean i can never get away from that i could never i could never change that i mean sitting among monks on mount athos in for example in magistra lavra one of the most famous pivotal monasteries in mount athos and in that silence, to see them celebrate this, the divine liturgy ad orientum towards the rising sun. I mean, he, Father Toomey made a very, very important point. Even before Christ came, you know, in Newgrange, they understood the importance of, of, of orientation, of why, where, where are we coming from? You know, who is the divine light? They understood, they oriented Newgrange towards the rising sun on the shortest day of the year. We orientated our liturgy towards the east, towards Christ, the light of the east that would come in. And we've lost that. We've disoriented our church. There's confusion, there's disorientation in our teaching, in our liturgy, and everything. And um, we need to return to Christ. We need to return to Christ. We need to re- we need a new be- uh, new Pentecost in the church. We need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit in a sense. Yes, we definitely need that because it's it's with God, it's with His Spirit that we renew the church. But we need to we need to also direct our worship, our this this encounter with Christ towards Him. Everything that we do should be pointing towards Christ. I just thought it was it was an incredible interview. Wasn't expecting it, but um. 
I just thought I'd share it so that people will uh, could listen to him. And, uh, you know, we need to reflect on this. We need to reflect on this. Uh, how do we renew the faith in Ireland? We renew the faith in Ireland by turning to Christ because only Christ convicts souls. Only when you encounter him do you see his amazing beauty. And, you know, we have to... We have to shine. We have to let his light shine in, in our church. His encounter. Encounter him. And, uh, you know, I, I do recommend. I do recommend that people, you know, as, as a, I do recommend that you go to traditional Latin Mass. But not as a sign of protest or division or, or anything like that. But to encounter Christ as previous generations encountered him for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Um... You know, the, the Gregorian chant, the chant that the monks would chant on Mount Athos, that didn't pop out of nowhere. That has deep roots to the earliest times of the church. To the earliest times of the church. There's a, there was one man this year, uh, charismatic, and he was talking in tongues. And the language I was, he was speaking, I said, I understand that language. I, I know what it is. They, it's a language from the earliest times of the church. I know people find this difficult to understand some of these charismatic gifts that, that people have. But they, they, are, they are gifts to draw us to Christ, to draw us to Christ, to, encounter, to draw us to an encounter with him. And uh, I, no, I do recommend that people experience the silence and the beauty and the reverence of a traditional Latin Mass. But... You know, as a sign of as 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 something that will help us to encounter Christ. But I mean, that's just my lived experience. It's not. It's that's my lived experience. That you know, there's there's no way I I could ever say that that encounter hadn't changed me because it did. It did. Anyway, God bless. Take care. Bye bye.